Hey everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to break down three powerful types of indexes in PostgreSQL, Btree, Jean, and Brim. We'll cover how they work internally, when to use them, and when they might not be the best choice, all in simple and easy to understand terms. Btree indexes are the most commonly used type in PostgreSQL. They work like a balanced tree where values are stored in sorted order and searches are performed efficiently by traversing the tree structure. When you query data using an index column, PostgreSQL starts at the root of the tree and moves down through the branches quickly finding the required data. Here's an example. Let's say you have a user's table with an indexed email column. Then the following query, where you search records by email, would work faster. This index helps PostgreSQL quickly locate the row by email address instead of scanning the entire table. Btree indexes are best suited for situations where you need to perform quick lookups on unique values. They work especially well for primary keys, index column used in certain operations, and range queries using operators like between, less, or more. Btree indexes are not the best choice when dealing with columns that only have a few distinct values. For instance, if a column contains just true or false, indexing it with Btree won't provide much benefit. Since there are very few unique values, scanning the table directly might be just as fast as using the index. Now let's talk about GIN, Generalized Inverted Index. This index is perfect for complex data types such as arrays, JSONB, and full text search. Unlike B3, which indexes entire rows, GIN stores multiple keys for a single row, allowing for much faster lookups when searching for specific elements. Let's see how GIN breaks down values. Imagine we have the following JSONB data stored in the column. When we create a gene index on this column, PostgreSQL extracts each key value pair and builds an inverted index, where each pair corresponds to row IDs. This allows PostgreSQL to instantly find rows containing a specific tag without needing to examine every row in the table. When used for full text search, a gene index works by breaking down text into lexemes. That's normalized words without prefixes or suffixes. Each word is indexed separately, allowing for fast searches in any combination of these words. Gene indexes are the best option when working with JSON B fields, arrays, or full text search. They significantly improve performance for queries that need to search for elements within structured or semi structured data. Gene indexes are not ideal for small datasets or tables with frequent updates. Since gene indexes take up more space and are expensive to update, they may not be the best choice if your table is constantly changing or if you're working with a relatively small number of rows. Lastly, let's discuss BRIN, Block Range Index. This index type is designed for huge tables where data is naturally ordered such as timestamps or sequential IDs. Unlike B3 and Jean, which store individual values, Brin stores summaries of value ranges, making it incredibly lightweight. For example, for a logs table with millions of rows, a Brin index on the event time column can dramatically speed up range queries like following. Instead of scanning every row, Brin only checks for relevant blocks, making searches much faster. Brin indexes are particularly useful for very large tables where data is naturally sorted. They work exceptionally well for time series data, log files, or other cases where values are inserted in an ordered sequence. Brin indexes are not very effective when data is unordered or when working with smaller datasets. Since Brin relies on summarizing large blocks of data, its performance advantages only become noticeable in massive tables, where scanning full data pages would be too slow. So there you have it. We've explored how B3, Gene, and Brin indexes work, their advantages, and when you should or shouldn't use them. By understanding these indexing strategies, you can optimize your PostgreSQL queries and make your database much more efficient.
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!